In this video, I'm going to talk about a distinction that can be a little tricky um, and that often uh, catches people up. And that's the distinction between weight and mass. So just as a review, what is mass? Well, we have two definitions at this point. So one is that it's the amount of material. Um, and the other is that it is the ratio of net force to acceleration for some object. Um, and as far as we know, those two uh, definitions are equivalent to each other. Okay, so then what's weight? Well, weight is the gravitational force on an object. All right, so um, that's it. If you move an object far away from the Earth, the Earth exerts no force on it, it has no weight. Its mass is still the same, but the weight changes. Um, and so these two uh, terms do mean something different. They are not the same quantity. Um, we use them interchangeably in our everyday lives because we're stuck on the surface of this planet and you know the mass and weight are proportional to each other, so it doesn't really matter. But um, there is a distinction here, and as your instructor in mechanics, I should emphasize the difference. Um, so let's dig into this relationship a little bit more. So remember that Newton's second law tells us that the um, net force on an object equals its mass times its acceleration. Well, if we consider objects that are falling, then um, an old scientist named Galileo, um, around the year 1600, discovered that all objects fall at 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay. So um, that's such an important number that we give it its own variable, so we call it g and that is 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, sometimes people will even use Gs as a unit of acceleration. So sometimes they'll talk about fighter pilots experiencing an acceleration of eight Gs or something like that. And that just means eight times this quantity. Um, okay, so if all objects have the same acceleration and the um, force is uh, determined by the acceleration here, then we can figure out how strong the weight is on an object. Okay, so weight of a falling object Well, the gravitational force on the object by the Earth is equal to the mass of the object times g. So its acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, because that's everything's acceleration when it is falling, um, and that is the weight of a falling object. Um, it's also the weight of an object that's not falling. Um, there's no reason why gravity should be any different if an object is falling or if it's resting on a table or something. Um, and so this is, in fact, the formula for weight any time. So the weight of any object at the surface of Earth is GOE equals mass of the object times G. Now, I always like to write the forces um, this way, so emphasizing the type and the on and the by. Sometimes people will use W as a variable to mean weight. I personally think that's extremely confusing, especially if you try to use the on and by um, terminology. So for instance, if I say the weight force on an object by the Earth, that seems weird. Um, the way we normally talk about weights is we, talk, we act like it's a property of the object. So just grammatically, I think if you say the gravitational force on the object by the Earth, then everything seems pretty sensible. But if you talk about it as the weight force on the object by the Earth, I think it sounds a little weird. Um, you can do that if you want to. There's nothing wrong with it. And I will probably use the term weight periodically throughout the class, and I'll try to you know be really consistent to um, use it correctly. Uh, but keep in mind that weight is a force, while mass is not a force. Mass is a property of the object. Weight is a force exerted on the object. 